Welcome, everybody. Hope you're ready for a nice meal. Feeling good? We are. All right. Well, here's the deal. This morning when we were in the garden, Edwin was kind enough to let us come to his place at Jones Valley and help ourselves to some of the beautiful things that he has growing. And what we did is, in, in an effort to kind of move the cooking process along, we came back to the restaurant and we stuffed the male and the female squash. And I'm going to show you real quickly how that's done. What I'll do is I'll roast the two females and fry the male. So from here, we have tempura. The tempura batter is made of corn starch, rice flour, and flour, salt, and soda water. It's a light coating of the tempura batter. I think that's important because if it's too heavy, this is a very delicate dish. You don't want to take away from the, uh, the delicate nature of the, the, the zephyr squash. While that's going on, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how we want this plated. The idea then also is that we took some of the zephyr squashes and the cherry tomatoes, and what we did is we tossed them in a lemon vinaigrette, fresh chopped basil, salt and pepper. The idea is that you have a textural contrast. And you want a little crunch and some brightness with that dish in terms of the acid. That's where the vinaigrette comes in. One of the things that we also like to do is finish this dish with agramato lemon oil. It gives it a, just a little brightness. Obviously, you have a fried component here, so you don't want to add too much oil. But nonetheless, I think just a few drops of lemon oil to brighten this up. All right, well, y'all can get started on eating that, and then we're going to real quickly sail into doing our next dish. It's found close to home. Chef Chris Hastings is doing just that, making southern bouillabaisse. He joins us live from Lake Cordon Bleu. And Chris, good morning to you. Good morning. Good to see you again. Yeah, I saw you had some brown shrimp there, and they looked absolutely delicious. Tell us a little bit more about this bouillabaisse dish. All right. Well, if you can get a real quick close-up here, what I'm going to do is you can see the shrimp, the mussels, the clams, uh, all the beautiful uh, vegetables in there. What we're going to do is we're going to finish it with a little bit of butter, oh. a little, a little, you know, just a, a smidge. More. Just throw a little more butter. Just a little more, a little olive oil. <laughs> and then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and plate it. And the idea is that you have... We probably didn't talk as much about the, uh, in the first segment, about the different um, uh, things that went into the dish. What we did is we sauteed a little bit of leeks, a little bit of uh, onions, fennel, orange peel, a little garlic, and then what you come away with is um, uh, this wonderful sweet broth from the seafood and a little saffron, and uh, it's scented with the fennel, and then... Um, what we'll do is, once we get it on the plate here, kind of touch it up just a little bit, and then the, the last little touch on it will be a little fried soft shell crab. Oh, ho, 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 ho. And then a little rui. Rui is a French term for uh, a red pepper mayonnaise, and its direct translation is rust. So it's a rusty colored homemade garlic mayonnaise. And I'll tell you what, that right there will bring a tear to your eye. <laughs> Yes, indeed. <laughs> We're Chris. crying here right now. Our eyes yeah, are well, sweating. I hope you're, uh, I hope you're hungry. What the chef, it's, uh, it's, you know, it's what we live for, finding products like these and taking them right out of the water and eating them. Doesn't get better than that. Everything here has been found, foraged, or uh, grown within less than 20 miles. Vegetables picked fresh at a nearby farm, shrimp and clams pulled out of the water hours ago, all of the ingredients for a paella dish. This is what we live for. Those guys work hard out there, don't they? They work extremely hard, and you don't make a lot of money, but you notice how passionate this is a conversation they were passionate about this region. They were passionate about that food bay. place. They were passionate food about sand. Sand. food that has a, a smaller uh, carbon footprint. It's important. It's a very important conversation, and it is a conversation of now.